Good. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Technique Peak. We're going to go over a Faber test, flexion, abduction, external rotation. Uh, the typical test is going to be performed if I come through here, I bring the leg across above the kneecap, stabilize there, and let this knee drop down. In order to be functional, it should be two fists away from the table. That's one way to do it, and what that tells us is more about the hip mobility, if there's pain in the front, or lack of mobility also if there's pain, SI joint type pain. Another way that sometimes we have what we call more of stability issues. So for example, if Donis was there and he had tight hip flexors, tight back extensors, he'd be more of an arched position, and now the head of the femur would be sitting differently in the acetabulum, and it might show us a false positive for the test. So we can kind of mimic it that way. So let's say he was really tight through there, came through here, and just by position of the pelvis, the test might be positive through there. What we can do instead to see if it is more of a stability issue is we can have him activate his abdominals. So you're gonna teach him to put his arms up here, and by pulling his hands down towards his hips, if you pull down that way, he'll activate his core muscles. The pelvis will posteriorly rotate, give him some stability. So if we do that test again, which I'll do it this way, so you have him there, up, across, then we have him do some resisted, and then all of a sudden we see the knee start to drop down. We realize we put the pelvis in a better position, and now it really isn't a mobility problem, it's a stability issue, and we would treat it appropriately. Okay, so that's it, that's it for Technique Peak. Hope you enjoyed.